Hey, what's up YouTube? Big Shag Deck here and welcome to Let's Play number three. And for today's Let's Play... Oh, what is it? I'm not sure what it is, guys. Oh, that's right. It's please, it's Let's Play. Please insert a disc. No, I'm just kidding. Right now, I have the disc in my hand and it's going in the Wii. Oh, it's spinning. It's spinning. Oh, is it Wii? Is it GameCube? I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god, the suspense! It's killed me! What is it? Come on, stop spinning! Start, start slotting in! Oh, it's for the Wii! What is it? Oh yeah, buddy! Welcome to Let's Play number 3, Carnival Games! For the Nintendo Wii. Now this, I can tell, is going to be a pretty fun Let's Play. Because, who doesn't like, who doesn't love carnivals? If you find, if you find, if any of you, uh, find carnivals all really fun, or if you guys, yeah, if you guys find carnivals so much fun that you guys want to go there, like, every day, comment below. But if you don't like carnivals, uh, feel free to not comment. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Step right up and welcome to Carnival Games. Yeah, buddy. Test your skill and win a prize or compete with a friend to see who's the best. Tons of fun and excitement await all who enter. So step right up and let's get the show on the road. Alrighty. Start the show by clicking the single player booth here to my right or the multiplayer booth for two or more players here on my left. Alrighty then. So apparently right here to his right where we got the creepy carny right there. That's single where that's for multiplayer. Mode. And right here is where we'll be going for the single player mode. Alright, so for this let's play, uh yeah, that's my big Shaggy Tech character. <laughs> let's check out his jams with the headphones, his pirate mustache, beard, and eye patch. Uh Stegosaurus, spikes, and fire firefighter boots. <laughs> um yeah, we'll stick with that for now. Alright, so yeah, for this let's play. There are five different uh, streets, or five different uh, sections of the carnival to go through. And uh, for each episode, we'll be going to each different lane. And there's, uh, I believe, four, four main carnival games in each, in each, uh, on each street. Plus four, or plus uh, two super, super games on uh, each street. And one, uh, not really, not really carnival related, but you have to pay tickets for like one of them is this fortune teller, another one is like the crane machine, another one's like this love meter, and another one's like uh, I'm not I'm not sure what these two are, but this one's the claw, this one's the fortune teller, and that one's the uh, uh, love meter. I'm not sure what these two are, S but uh, anyway, oh and uh, for the the prize boulevard, this is uh, just a little section that tells you like what all your prizes are so far, uh, with with each game. So yeah, like alley ball, I got every prize. Test your strength. I have all the prizes. Hoops, I do have uh, a couple. Collection plate and so on with the claw alley. Love lane. Lucky pass. And Roten Row. All right, so let's head back to the to main square. All right, so for this let's for this episode, we'll be going to Fortune Way. Oh, the little monkey! I poke you, poke, poke. See right here. This is where the fortune teller is, and uh, and like these are the two super games. There's Super Hoops, which is a super edition of this game, and Super Alley Ball, which is a super edition of this game, Alley Ball. So basically, what I decided to do, of course, each uh, each different alley in the carnival per episode. And uh, the way I was going to do the orders was all the four, all the four regular games, the two super games, and then the bonus, and then the bonus one that you have to pay tickets for. And unfortunately, I only have 51 tickets, but based on how, based on how good I am on these games, I'm assuming we'll get a large amount of tickets, so we'll be able to pay for all this silly stuff. But they really are a waste of tickets. All right, so let's start off with Alley Ball. Hurry! 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 Step right up and win a prize in a thrilling game of alley ball. 
to win at this game, you <laughs> that Kearney's everywhere. Points by rolling your ball down the alley and into a point hole. So six balls per game. Line up the name hole. using Try the control pad and prizes. use underhand toss to throw. And uh, they do have a certain amount of points for a certain amount of prize, which I find pretty clever. All right, so there was a technique that I remember. I believe it's right there. Oh, so close. I remember there was like a, a like a specific position of rolling it of rolling it to the 100, but I forgot where it was. Ah, oh, dang it! So now I'm just gonna waste points. Ah, oh, come on, man! Oh, there it is. Dang it. Yeah, book 50. Practice makes perfect. All right, so yeah, that was pretty much Jelly Ball. And I got three tickets. And as you can see with all these prizes, for all the prizes in Jelly Ball are dinosaur related, apparently. See, now this is the grand prize, which is a T-Rex. And the two large prizes of Brontosaurus and a Stegosaurus. Three small prizes. Or, or no, these are the medium prizes, sorry. Uh, T-Rex necklace, a flyer, flyer asaurus, and Mr. Pinchy. <laughs> okay, that's weird. All right, let's head back to Fortune Way. And now we'll be going to test your strength. Now this one, this one's a pretty classic carnival game. Uh, it's where you got to um, basically uh, smash the target with the hammer and uh, see if you can hit the bell. to test your strength. A true test of not only your physical might, but also your sense of timing. You'll need to power <laughs> Look up the guys got a construction head there. All, all right, so yeah, three attempts to ring the bell, shake Wii remote to build power, swing down and press the B button to hit the target, hit target when prize. green for max ac for mac maximum accuracy. Okay, so yeah, currently I am shaking the Wii remote like crazy. Oh, see, I can't get a good grip on it. That's why he was kind of twitching there. Oh God! Ah, ha, come on, maximum power! Maximum power! Yes! There it is. Crushed it. Woo! Man, that can really wear your arms out, kind of like Wii Sports. All right, so yeah. Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! We need. I need like the hammer of Thor. It's like it's like the hammer of Thor that I'm lifting. It's so heavy. Boom! Yeah, buddy. Incredible. See, now the cool thing that I like about this game is that they actually have like s specific little rankings of uh, specific specific names for you based on how the ranking was. Like, so, like one of them was like Macho Man. And one of them was like, uh, I didn't, I didn't really catch all of them, but, uh, oh, shoot, boom, yeah, buddy, see, like, there's weakling, grandma, buttercup, uh, couch potato, average Joe, contender, champion, and, uh, so, yeah, it's just all kinds of funny, all kinds of funny ratings on that, Fantastic. yeah, buddy, large prize and 10 tickets. And apparently, yeah, and apparently for for this for this carnival game, the prize the prize uh the prize theme is actually ninja. Or, yeah, so it's like some kind of like sh what was it? What was it? Shaolin, 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 Shaolin. Ninja. And we got black ninjas and a red ninja, nunchucks, ninja necklace, and a pink handled sai. Pink Handle Psy, I believe it's pronounced. Ninja Star, Ninja Fan, Butterfly Sword, and Jade Dagger. Pretty cool. Alright, back to Fortune Way. Now let's go to Hoops. This one I'm not a huge fan of. Um, this one you pretty much got Step right up, step right up to Hoops! In this completely accurate simulation of basketball, you'll need to score as many baskets as you can within 30 seconds. Each basket is worth two. Count them, two points. 
score enough points and all right you'll be so yeah pretty much you gotta this one requires really good accuracy which i'm pretty bad at on the week um 30 seconds on the clock score as many baskets as you can use overhead throw motion to shoot twist the wheel remote to aim all right yeah this one i really stink at i'm not a huge fan of this one Ugh, see, I hate this one. This one is ridiculous. There we go. See, I can, I can never, I, I really stink at this carnival game. I really, do, I really do not like this one at all. And apparently, this is uh, one of the super ones. So, <laughs> see, look at that. I only got six points on that. That's pretty bad. And that's for a small prize. Well, see, so yeah, and this is one of the games where I got uh, not not as much prizes because I haven't been playing this game. And apparently, the theme for the prizes is like search and rescue, I believe. I mean, you got handcuffs, a whistle, a fireman's hat, and the grand prize, which I traded in, is a rescue copter. So it's definitely a search and rescue kind of thing. Engine number nine, which I believe is probably a fire truck. Wee -oo, wee -oo. And that's probably a police car. Um. A club light, stuffed officer, and a fire ex what? A fire extinguisher as a prize? As a car? <laughs> that's kind of uh, that's kind of stupid in my opinion. All right, so yeah, that was hoops. Now, oh god, collection plate. Uh, I really do not like this one. This one, this one is another stupid right waste way, of time right accuracy kind of way. thing too. Step right up and test your skill and luck at the collection plate. In this game, you'll get five chances to try and land a coin on a plate. Be careful though, toss too hard and your coin will slide right off the plate. Too soft and you'll come up short. Yeah, oh, great. So now, so yeah, five tries to land a coin on the plate. Lock on using the A button. Use flying disc throw to, t yeah, use the throwing style of flying disc to toss coin. Flipping on the Wii Remote spins coin. Huh. Okay. Apparently. Yeah, and, and apparently I'm actually a lefty, but um, they always somehow want the players to play as righties, which is really weird. Oh, I was so close. See, yeah, like those glittering ones are like the best ones to aim for. Oh, are you serious? Oh man, that was close. I'm gonna try this one right in front of me. Oh, yeah, buddy. Wow, I actually got one. But it wasn't the one I thought. Oh man! All right, what was that? Coin number four. I think this was my last one here. Let's try one of them. Let's try one of the ones over here. Uh oh! Yeah, buddy! Oh, that was a good one. Two plates, not bad. That was that was for a medium prize. Good job. Yeah, buddy. What I get? Oh okay, yeah, what's the theme for this one? I don't really. I didn't really see the theme for this one. See, like the two small prizes are jacks. And paddle ball that I have so far, and I got two medium prizes, which are bubbles and a red luft balloon. Like, what's the whole theme of that? Like birthday party or just any kind of regular party? What's the grand prize? L oh, little squirt. I'm assuming that's um, a squirt gun. Mr. Bullhorn and zip zipper d zipper dee doo. Uh, okay. And what's this one? Beach ball. Where are the other two? Small prizes. Deck of cards and party mask. So yeah, it's gotta be like some kind of like just any kind of activities for uh, for some kind of for any kind of get together or party or family picnic or anything like that. I'm assuming. <laughs> anyway. Alright, so yeah, we went through so yeah, that was the four basic games. Now let's go into the super games. Where you have super alley ball and super hoops. Alright, so let's see. Um, 
Welcome one and all to the thrills and excitement of Super Alley Ball. In this souped up version of Alley Ball, you'll have 10 chances to score points. This time, though, Ooh, this time we have catch. 10 chances. Not only will you need to roll your balls into the holes to score you points, you get three balls per game. Also have to you get a strike if you hit a bumper. You. So basically, this is just like Alley Ball, but except you have bumpers rolling all over the place, which is kind of stupid. Oh, what? Can you see like a swell cat? Oh, see, what is that? This might not be your game, if you know what I mean. Oh, man. See, now the bumpers are making this much trickier. Wait, wait, wait. I want to extend it towards an angle. Oh, what was that? That was stupid. What the heck? Are you serious? Oh man. Really only got 20 points on that? That was stupid. See now apparently for the bonus games, they don't actually like uh, give you any prizes or tickets. It ju it's just a silly kind of thing with uh, uh, doing your best of like beating your high score and all that. There's no reward or anything. Just the number of points you earn, which is kind of stupid, but, um, okay, so yeah, the other game is apparently hoops, so this is, so this isn't going to be good. Now, I believe this one is just as many basketballs as you can in a minute. So, yeah, yes, it's basically just like regular hoops, but except the, but except instead of 30 seconds, it's a minute. Alright, let's see. Oh yeah, and the net moves all over the place, darn it. I forgot about that too. The net keeps moving all over the place. Ah, see I cannot, I cannot control this the right way. See like, every time I try and throw it, then it keeps aiming towards the left side. Oh, see there we go. Oh, now it went too far over. Alright, so far I got 8 points. I don't even know how many balls I shot. Okay, ten points. You got first round draft pick written all over you. Oh, oh, how's it going? Oh, come on, come on! No, no! What are you doing? Oh no, no! Oh, come on! Sixteen? Yes! Come on, I want to get at least twenty. Oh shoot, I got three seconds left. Come on. Oh, so close. 18, that's not bad for a... Eh. Alright, not bad. Alright, so now, let us go to the ticket-wasting part of Fortune Way, a.k.a. the Great Swami, a.k.a. A for just a fortune teller. So, apparently she calls herself the Great Swami. Look at that, 15 tickets, just to, just for a... Now, apparently... Uh, for this one, it's not really a fortune teller. Oh, well, actually, it is kind of a for it's It's more like uh, just a just, uh, magic eight ball, where you just have to ask her a yes or no question. And I don't know why, but you have to place the weird mode on your forehead like the carnies doing. And um, it's in all of its worth, for, in all of its for 15 tickets. It's so stupid. I don't even know why I'm doing this. But I gotta do it since, uh, okay. I'm thinking of a yes or no question. You suck! You stink! Waste of tickets! This let's... Uh, that's what happened last time. That... This fortune teller is stupid. This fortune... T I swear. It's so dumb. That fortune teller. I swear. She is su she She is... She is evil. I mean, look at her. Look at look at that evil look in her eyes. Wait, you see that? Look at look at. Oh, excuse me. Um, but yeah, see, look at that evil look in her eyes. You can tell that's evil. Stupid. All right, guys. So that'll be it for this episode. That was it for that was Fortune Way. And next time on the show, in episode two, we'll be going into Claw Alley. So, thanks very much for watching. Stay tuned for more carnival games. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, message, whatever you gotta do to show your support. And until next time, I'm Big Shagatech, and I'll see you in Claw Alley.